Hi guys, I'm Alexander Kuzhenkov from the Grid Game Control Center team. It is extremely rare that we are able to design a database perfectly so that we do not need to make any changes in the future. Over time, new requirements appear, along with new queries to a database. In this video, we will analyze how to troubleshoot a popular case when a table is missing a secondary index. Let's get started. Imagine that we've just updated our microservice and started to get alerts about huge amounts of warning messages in the logs. Of course, the most common idea is, let's open the logs. And here we see a few long SQL queries so that we have something to work with. Investigating a problem with just a log may take a time. It's hard to look at the big picture. Gladly, Control Center provides all of this information in a user-friendly manner. So, let's open Control Center. SQL tab. And open the running queries screen. The same queries were printed in the logs. We can stop them so that the cluster can work in a normal way. But of course, if our microservice runs them frequently, it won't help. So we need to find the root of the problem. The query statistics screen shows some useful information. We see that only one of these queries executes slowly, consistently. Now let's click on the Analyze button. It is a query with a parameter, so we should provide something to run it. Here we see how the query is executed. In distributed system, we have two phases. Map that is invoked on each node to process data locally. And reduce that is invoked on the query coordinator node and aggregates data from other nodes. On the map phase, we see a scan instead of using an index. So it's pretty clear that we just need to create a secondary index for the email field. Let's do it. And check this query manually. It took just 12 milliseconds, cool. So, if you have already a monitoring system setup, Control Center will be a great addition to it. You've seen how easy you can troubleshoot queries with the SQL tab of Control Center, interrupt them, analyze and use query statistics. What was your most common case of long running queries? Please write it in the comments. Thanks for watching, see you.